My name is Jesse Amoroso. I'm the costume director here at ACT. So I started in 2009, and that was my first carol. Just the beauty of Beaver Bower's patterns and her pattern mixing and the texture she creates. They're as beautiful up close where you see the actual threads and flowers and beads, but the more you pull back and it just becomes shadows and texture, it's still as beautiful. It doesn't turn into nothing. You actually can see the texture from the last row of the last you know, balcony. We have a few sets of our Scrooge jackets, uh, one for Jim Carpenter and one for Anthony Fusco. And it's something akin to a moiré, or you might say a wood grain pattern in a color that might be called poison green. And it's referred to as poison green because in the Victorian times when they were creating these uh, beautiful, brightly colored uh, dyes, they weren't quite so careful with what they used. And the most common ingredient in the green dye was arsenic. Beaver designed it in very specific groups uh, where we have the young schoolboys of the past tinted with blue, maybe a little bit of sadness in that scene. We have the Fezziwig scene, which is peaches and cream and tinted with rose tinted glasses. And then we have the present, which is the vibrant greens and reds and golds of an amazing abundant life, which also leads into Fred's party with the 1860s style hoop skirts, uh, which I nickname uh, red light, green light, because it's a yellow, red and green. And then a very multicolored uh, present. Um, our present runs anywhere from 1840 to 1920, depending on where we pulled the costumes from. And those are the consistent things where we kind of have the five different groups. And then the darkness of the future, which is where we see a lot of black, browns, grays, model colors, which really don't exist very much in the general show. When you're in the Geary, you could be anywhere. You really get the feeling that you could be in a Victorian time period because of the columns and the velvet. It all kind of blends in and takes you to that 19th century moment. Mm -hmm.